let's talk about some of the options we have on GTC1. One of the most common ways we interact with this is the map. So here's our, our basic GPS map. Blue square, you're there. I can range in, range out. And this one, see the, my little red uh, towers? This is programmed, uh, it's in the selections or in a menu where beyond seven and a half miles, they go away. So somewhere in there, we don't want to see all our all of our obstacles if we're up at altitude. So we've ranged out. We want to make them go away. But zoomed in, we'd like to see our obstacles. And map, we've got some options inside of map. So we can look at a VFR sectional chart. That's handy. One of the things that's nice about a VFR sectional chart is it tells you right-hand pattern of runway 1 right, 1 9 or right, and runway 3 1. It's one of the few places uh, that it's easy and quick to get that information. We've got our IFR low, which, as you can imagine, is an IFR low in route chart. One of the things we make sure are updated when we look at our databases. Go back to map. We've got map settings. And in map settings, that point obstacle that I talked about is 7.5. So smart obstacles, we can see a point obstacle is 7.5. 0.5 miles out. I could make that be five miles out. And when I range out to seven and a half miles, they're going to go away. Five, seven and a half, they disappear. So that's salt to taste, however you like that. Most people have it in around five to seven and a half mile range. Uh, the one that's a point of uh, conversation is do we go heading up, track up, or north up? I have my own preferences. I'll let you come up with your own. I'm going to offend half the people if I say it, but you can see how I have it selected. The obvious correct way. Um, the inset window, vertical situational display BSD, and there we are. We can range out there. We can look and see that altitude there and see uh, at 2359, we get kind of close to some obstacles, but not too bad. And actually, we're going to go up to 4,500. So if I reset my altitude back up to 4,500, then I can see that I'm clearly above all of my obstacles all the way there. I don't see any obstacles. I've got some winds a lot. Just not really worried about bumping into anything at 4,500 feet, Tulsa to Rogers. So from the home menu, it kind of defaults to that. Uh, it seems that maybe it's where it finds itself. Let's turn that vertical situation off. It. Always light that up. Vertical display off. Back home. So that's how the map function works.